everyone, it's Kaz from Graphics by Kaz here and today we're going to be looking at how to import frames for webcams and games into OBS and Streamlabs OBS. It's very simple to do it in both so I'm just going to run through quickly how to do it in Streamlabs first. So we're starting with a blank scene and all we have to do is go ahead and find where our game frames are and webcam frames are located and then bring them through by dragging them into the application like so. As you can see, we've got our animation here and then I will just resize that so it's the same size as I want my webcam to be. Now if I wanna go ahead and add my webcam source, so I'm gonna click on the plus here and I am going to find video capture device and click add source. Just call that the default or call it whatever you want and here I am. And uh, my webcam weirdly comes through as a square. I'm not sure why it does this. If your one does this too, then all you have to do is click on resolution FPS type and go down to custom. And then it seems to reset itself. And I don't know why my webcam is like that, but whatever, that's just how it is. Then we're going to reposition it at, at basically the same size uh, and place as the webcam frame and then resize it down so that it sits nicely inside. And then all we have to do is grab the webcam capture device in the sources and drag it below the uh, video that we just dragged in. So as you can see, we have a lovely webcam frame here. Now we wanna add a game. So I'm gonna go and find a different one this time. So let's use this neon version. So we got our neon game frame. I'm just gonna put it here just for the purposes of an explanation tutorial. And then again, I'm gonna go ahead and add my source. So once you have this open, go to screen capture and then click add source. Again, call it the default or whatever you want. And then I'm going to go ahead and tell it to capture a certain win window. So if you put automatic, then it will generally find the game that you happen to be playing. I've got Slime Rancher open at the moment, so it's automatically picked up on that. I'm gonna go ahead and click done, and then I'm gonna drag these corners so that again, they're within the, the vague proximity that this, um, that this frame is at. Again, all we have to do now is drag it below the game frame. And look at that, we have two wonderful frames working in unison. Um, if we wanted to have the webcam above the game, we just have to select these two together and then drag them above the game frame. And now we have the webcam above the game frame. So this is how you do it in slobs. And I'm now gonna show you how to do it in OBS Studio. So we're in OBS Studio now, and this is gonna be a very similar tutorial how we did it in Slobs. Gonna go ahead and grab the webcam, gonna grab it through. The only change you want to make here is you are going to want to double click on the source in the sources panel and make sure that loop is checked. Otherwise it's gonna stop like it did just there. So now this is looping, I can resize this to wherever I want on the screen. So now that's in, I'm now gonna go ahead and add my uh, video capture device, click OK. It comes through as a square again, so in this version I have to go ahead and click on custom underneath res resolution, and then I actually have to pick the resolution from this list. Uh, so we're gonna pick the highest there and then click OK. Uh, again, we're gonna move this into the vague um, similar place that we want it so that the frame can sit over, over the top of the webcam footage. Again, drag it underneath and there we have it. Now we have the webcam uh, footage with the webcam frame on top of it. Now we want to do the same with the game footage. Okay, so I'm gonna go and find my game frame, drag it through, uh, double click on it, make sure that loop is checked, press okay, start resizing this to whatever size I want it to be. So let's size it over here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add our game footage behind this. So click on the plus and then go to game capture, click okay, and then find our game from the list. I'm gonna say capture specific window and then slime archer will appear. Click okay, drag this down and then we are going to fit this again inside the uh, parameters of our little box there. And then drag the game capture below the game frame. And look at that. It's so simple guys, very easy to do. Just make sure that the video footage is looping by going into the options and clicking that looping box. Otherwise these will just disappear uh, and that's not good. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Please give it a like and a comment if it helped you and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.